Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a card. It's a tea boutique card. So this is um, a brand new suite that is right at the front of the catalogue and it really showcases all five of our new in colours so much so that the paper pack literally coordinates with all five of the colours plus crushed curry as well. I mean, it's a proper rainbow effect going on. So let me bring in the catalogue. So this is the first suite that you come to. So it's pages 12 and 13 and literally it is all five of the new colours. The so Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, Tahitian Tide, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis and Crushed Curry. It's a rainbow! <laughs> and so as part of this collection you get the stamps and the dies, you get the paper and oh yes cards and envelopes which are up here which I'm not using because I'm making my own. So this is my card. It's a layered card with a little bit of die cutting going on. So first things first, and I've got Parakeet Party. I'm going to make myself use this colour. It's not a colour I would normally reach for, but I'm going to make myself use it. So first cut. Oh, okay, so I'm going to cut my piece of cardstock in half and then score it in half. So whichever way round you want to do your card is entirely up to you. So you could, oh, I could make a card like that, but I want a tent fold that way around. Okay, let me just burnish this. Okay, so that's my card base. Now I want to find papers and I want three patterns. My rule of thumb with a layered card is three toning patterns. So I've got one in the background, one is sort of a section off here and then a third pattern there. So I want three patterns and I want greens because that's the colour I've chosen. So look at that, what a gorgeous, gorgeous paper pack. Oh, look at the lemons. Ooh, lemon tea. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a tea drinker at all. Let's get rid of that bit, that's the backing. So all of these are fabulous. Oh, look, and a planer patterns on the back. So I want something not too busy for my background and then I can sort of bring in detail for the front. Now, interestingly, I used that on that page and I wonder what it would look like again. So, not sure. So I'm just gonna run through and make sure that I've got these lovely greens, this lovely green represented. <laughs> I want a third green. Ooh, shall I have that one on the front? There's maybe a little bit too much red going on in there. I think we'll go with this one. So, let's pop that out of the way. So these are the three that I've got. So quite plain in the background. And then that one could layer and that one over the top. And actually it's the same pattern, but this time with teapots on it. Let's move that out of the way. It's the same pattern as this. Hopefully you can see. So there's the swirl, there's the swirl and so on. Right, so super simple now. So that's my card base. And for my background, I want a piece of paper that is half a centimetre shorter and narrower as my base than my base when it's folded. If you work in Imperial, quarter of an inch shorter and narrower. And then I think I'm gonna have, ooh, I'm just randomly measuring. There is no sciencey stuff in there. So I've cut this piece. And with my spare, this is the same half a centimetre difference. Um, so whatever you do as your background base, you throw your paper on the floor. Oh, yeah. I now can't pick up. You keep that half centimetre going. So if you want, want to work with a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch, you just keep going. Right, ooh, can I get my teapots on here without cutting any bits off? I can. I'm going to have two teapots. Because I think two 
two will be fun. So what should I measure those up? Okay. Mumbling measurements in my <laughs> to myself. So long as you keep the same measurement rule going, you'll be good. Right, let's scooch those out of the way. And then I'm gonna hunt for a scrap of white and my plates and my little mini cut and emboss. So what I want to do is cut a white teacup and a parakeet party layer for over the top so plate number one plate number two i have some white up here and ooh do we think i can get that on there yes got the whole lot on oh and send it all through my machine Size, pop them away, don't put it down, put it away. And just get all those fiddly little bits out. Where's my dark brush? Oh, what on earth have I dropped now? Oh, okay. The end of my take your pick. Let's get that last one out. And then this out of the way and what I'm going to do now is I've got my liquid glue you saw my video the other day I shared that I gave everybody um, as part of their customer thank you gifts the liquid glue and I've got a particularly fat paintbrush and I'm just blobbing glue where I want it just hidden behind so that I can get this laid down and stuck. Got it positioned up. Oh, need a little bit under there, I think. And I'm gonna grab a big block. This is far too big a block, but it'll do. Just wait for that to dry a second. Clear myself some space because I'm getting all a bit jumbled. Right. Let's pop that over there so I can line all of this up and get it started. So I'm just going to glue everything in place. And the thing I love about layered cards is there's no set measurements for each layer. The only rule is that whatever size border you have on your base you repeat for your other layers. I like to make sure that I've got a toning colour on all three pieces of paper, although that's not an essential rule if you're going to use a neutral as your base cardstock. What I like is that one <laughs> static issues. Once you've got your base on, you can fiddle around to your heart's content. So if I bring in my original, I kind of went like that. But I might do this one a bit like that. But I want to get both green teacups in there somehow. So. And I have made so many of these cards over the years. And everybody tells me how much they love them which is why I keep making them for you. And then hopefully this is dry now, so I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. I'm still working my way through my packet of black ones. Ooh. I'm gonna pop that down there. And those are cute little cards. Oh, why has that gone so bright? Ooh, I don't know. That's really bleached it. I hope it doesn't translate like that on camera. 
There we go, that's better. <laughs> My camera's got a mind of its own. So, what do you think? They're the same but different. I love it. I love it when things like that happen. So, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.